स्टडी ऑफ मेंडल्स बायोग्राफी एंड टर्मिनोलॉजी फॉर बी एस सी थर्ड ईयर प्रेजेंटेड बाय डॉक्टर चौहान एस टी असिस्टंट प्रोफेसर डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ बॉटनी राष्ट्रमाता इंदिरा गांधी कॉलेज जालना मेंडल्स बायोग्राफी मेंडल वाज बॉर्न इन 1822 इन ऑस्ट्रिया नाउ अ पार्ट ऑफ झेकोस लोहोकिया इन द फैमिली ऑफ पुअर फॉर्म इन 1843 ही जॉइन्ड ऑस्टिनियन मोनेस्ट्री एट ब्रून इन ऑस्ट्रिया बिकम अ प्रिस्ट इन 1847 The monastery was not only a center of religion. Monastery was not only center of religion, but also study of science. In eighteen fifty one, he was sent by monastery authorities to to the University of Vienna to study science. after completing his studies he returned to brun in 1854 where he continued to work as a priest and as a teacher in 1857 he started his experiments on pea seeds he conducted all his experiments within the monastery garden with the help of his own resources with the help of his own resources after 7 years of work he presented his findings before the natural history society of brun this paper entitled experiments in plants hybridization was published in annual proceeding of natural history society in 1866 he died in 1884 his paper published 1866 but he died in 1884 at the age of 62 years then rediscovery of mendelian principles rediscovery of mendelian principles unfortunately his work remained unnoticed unnoticed for about 33 years 33 years they cannot see their works in 1900 three biologists hugo de veris of holland karl korens of germany and erik von tischer mark of austria working independently on heredity in plants arrived at the same conclusion as that of mendel the value of mendel's work was immediately recognized and mendel's was given his rightful place in science but unfortunately at that time he was no more mendel's experiment conducted cross breeding experiments on garden pea botanical name pisum sativum he collected several types of pea plant seeds from seed growers all over europe selection of plant materials mendel selected garden pea as his experimental 
material because it has following advantages. Mendel selected Gordon P for his experiment because it has following advantage. Number one advantage is it is uh, easy to cultivate. Pea plant is easy to cultivate and does not require much after care. The plants are not too small or very large. So, they can be handled easily. It completes its life cycle in few months. Its short life cycle made it possible to study several generations within short period. Then third advantage, it produces large number of seeds per plants. Fourth advantage, flower structure of pea ensured self-pollination. It has bisexual flowers. Its petals completely enclose, completely enclose the reproductive organs until pollination and fertilization takes place. Then fifth, fifth ad advantage is because of self-fertilization. You know self-fertilization and cross-fertilization. Because of self-fertilization, it is easy to get pure lines for artificial pollination are easy to carry out hybridization experiments. Then six advantages in P several characters have two distinct, distinctly different forms known as alternative or contrasting form a character. This is an advantage and then Mendel selected following seven character for his study. Mendel selected seven character for his experiment, for his studies. Uh, in table shows uh, these characters, this is a contrasting form. Number one character, stem length, stem length, height, height of stem, tall, dwarf. Contrasting character, tall, heighted, dwarf. Second character, select flower position, ex, axil and terminal. Top position, middle position, flower. This second character selected. Then third character, pod shapes, P pod shapes, non-constricted and constricted contrasting character then seed shape shape of seeds pod color green yellow then seed shape round wrinkled contrasting character round round cross with wrinkled six character cotyledons color yellow green and seed coat color gray and white. The factor of genes are represented by a symbol generally derived from the name of the character. It governs the dominant factor is represented by capital letter and recessive by its corresponding small letters. Example, tall. Tall, for, uh, tall is a dominant they shows in capital letter T. Dorp is a recessive and this shows small t. Then Mendel's experiment on sweet P. Mendel grew in his garden different varieties of P and selected fewer varieties, those plants which were showing same characters. Fewer varieties, those plants 
which we are showing same characters at least for three three generation <coughs> finally he selected 22 of these varieties for his experiments first series of experiments were performed with with a single pair of contrasting character. First series is single pair of contrasting character. He selected two varieties of pure line, one with tall stem and other with dwarf stem. These plants cons constituted parents. These plants tall and dwarf cons constituted parents. He then crossed cross fertilizer. These two plants that is transform the pollen of tall plant to the stigma of dwarf plant or, or vice versa taking care to prevent self pollination. Taking care to prevent self pollination. They, their experiment, their uh, uh, cross fertilization takes place. Tall plant, tall plants uh, transferred pollen of tall plants to stigma of dwarf plant. Dwarf plant. The seeds obtained from cross were shown and observe results. From this tall and dwarf, self-pollinated uh, plant, not self, cross-pollinated um, plants, from this cross-pollinated plants, uh, seeds obtained from this cross-pollinated plants uh, were shown, again shown, and observe the, the results. He found that Offsprings developed were all tall, like one of the parents. Then this shown and observed result. He found that offsprings developed were all tall, like ones of the parents. These offsprings obtained by crossing two plants with contrasting characters. These offsprings obtained these offsprings obtained by crossing two plants with contrasting character are called hybrid and their generation is called as a first filia or a fun generation. Then the self pollinated the offspring of F1 generation and found that both tall and dwarf offsprings like original parents were produced. However, the ratio of tall to dwarf plant was approximately 3 as 1. The generation resulting by selping of F1 hybrid, selping of F1 hybrid was named as second generation. From F1 hybrid, F1 cross into F1, they obtained a second hybrid or second filial generation and selping of F2 results into F3 generation and show on, show on, F3, F4 and more. He studied each of the seven pairs of contrasting characters. He, he in second series of experiments, he selected two pairs of contrasting characters and observed the results. In second series of experiment, he selected two pair of contrasting characters and observed. Results are dis discussed in hybrid ratio. Mendel's, select, Mendel's interpretation and conclusion. 
द मेंडर कंक्लूजन फर्स्ट कंक्लूजन द कैरेक्टर्स फ्रॉम पेरेंट्स टू ऑफ स्प्रिंग्स आर ट्रांसमिटेड इन द फॉर्म ऑफ यूनिट्स और पार्टिकल्स कॉल्ड डिटरमिनर्स और फैक्टर्स दीज फैक्टर्स डिटरमाइन द कैरेक्टर्स इन द इंडिविजुअल द पर्टिक्युलर हेरिडिटी कैरेक्टर्स इज कंट्रोल्ड बाय पीयर ऑफ फैक्टर्स नाउ कॉल्ड जीन out of any pair of contrasting character one is dominant and other other is recessive one is dominant and other is recessive the factor controlling a particular trait or character are separated from each other during gamete formation hence gamete is always pure Mendel observed both qualitative as well as quantitative results from his experiment quality and quantity qualitative and quantitative results from his experiments for example in first experiment he observed that quantitatively three dwarf plants and one dwarf plants plants from cross between tall into dwarf tall plant crossed with dwarf a four of spring produced th from this four three are tall and one are dwarf we are produced but qualitatively out of three tall plants one was pure one was pure means capital t capital t while remaining two plants were hybrid because here capital t small t capital t small t and capital t is a dominant dominant they shows their character hence these two are hybrid reasons for mendel's success why mendel success reason their reasons a combination of luck their luck factor also for shaid mathematical background and scientific aptitude contributed to the success of mendel's experiment his selection uh, the selection of material mendel selected garden pea as a his experimental material mendel selected garden p for his experimental material because it has many advantages refer selection of material we have see in selection of material uh, six advantages of pea plant then selection of trait character he selected contrasting characters or trait luckily all related as a dominant contrasting character means selected we have seen in chart character and contrasting character height of plants tall dwarf round wrinkle green gray method of working he studied inheritance of only one character he studied inheritance of only one characters at a time because different characters have different inheritance or pattern then he maintained a complete record of every cross he maintained a complete record of every cross and generation mendel carried out his experiments with great care and elaborations he grave pure lines in separate garden plots preventing chances of their mixing with other he grave pure line separation gardens separate gardens plots 
preventing chances of their mixing with others. <laughs> then fifth, he formulated theoretical explanation on the basis of experimental results. He formulated theoretical explanation on the basis of experimental results. Later, the validity of these formulations was tested through further experimentation. Six point, he used mathematical and statistical principles for analyzing the result of experiments. Then six, seventh point, the most important factors for his success was, which is most important factor for his success, he accurately pointed out the reasons for failure of earlier workers. He accurately pointed out reasons for failure of earlier scientists or earlier workers and carefully avoided them in his experiments uh, and carefully avoided them in his experiments. Then complete dominance. In case of complete dominance, the phenotype produced by heterozygous individual is identical with that produced by homozygous individual genes. The dominant gene in such a situation is known as completely or fully dominant. For example, the seeds with genotype capital R capital R are round and indistinguishable from those having the genotype capital R small r. That is a complete dominance. But in, in, in incomplete dominance, next, incomplete dominance, in many cases, the in intensity of phenotypes produced by heterozygous is less than that produced by homozygous. In many cases, the intensity of phenotype produced by heterozygous is less than that produced by homozygous for the connect concerned dominant characters. In these cases, none of the gene is dominant in hybrid. The ex expression of the character's phenotype is intermediate between the trait shown by two parents. It is called incomplete dominance. For example, flower color in Mirabilis. If red flower variety is crossed with white flower of Mirabilis variety, the hybrid shows pink flower. Here, red color is incompletely dominant. Incomplete dominance. This is a biography. Uh, of uh, Mendel's and his work, uh, work and his success, full works and his uh, selected characters we have seen. Uh, then uh, we have study some terminology. Terminology uh, for genetics. Number, number one terminology is a heterozygous. If in an organism the two genes for particular character are dissimilar or contrasting, it is said to be heterozygous. If in an organism the two genes for particular character are dissimilar, it is said to be heterozygous. For example, organism with capital T and small t, capital T, small t, will be heterozygous. 
देन होमोजाइगस एवरी ऑर्गेनिज्म और सोमेटिक सेल्स पोजेसेस टू फैक्टर्स और टू जीन्स वन फ्रॉम ईच पेरेंट्स एवरी ऑर्गेनिज्म पोजेसेस टू फैक्टर्स और टू जीन्स वन फ्रॉम ईच पेरेंट्स फॉर एवरी कैरेक्टर इफ इन एन ऑर्गेनिज्म द टू जीन्स फॉर पर्टिक्यूलर कैरेक्टर्स आर आइडेंटिकल और सिमिलर इट इज सेड टू बी होमोसाइगस होमोसाइगस इंडिविजुअल्स प्रोड्यूसेस ओनली वन टाइप ऑफ गैमेट्स फॉर एग्जाम्पल टॉल प्लांट्स होमोजाइगस दिस आलिल इज कैपिटल टी कैपिटल टी और डॉर्क प्लांट विथ स्मॉल टी स्मॉल टी दैट इज ए होमोजाइगस इफ हेयर कैपिटल टी स्मॉल टी दैट इज ए हेटेरोजाइगस देन रिसेसिव रिसेसिव अ जीन विच इज अनेबल टू एक्सप्रेस इट सेल इन द परजेंस दैट ऑफ द डॉमिनेंट जीन इज कॉल्ड रेसेसिव जीन फॉर एग्जाम्पल इन हैब्रिड हैब्रिड और हेटेरोजाइगस टॉल पी प्लांट बोथ द जीन्स फॉर एलिल टॉलनेस कैपिटल टी एंड डॉर्पनेस स्मॉल टी आर परजेंट हाउ एवर ओनली द जीन फॉर टॉलनेस इज एबल टू एक्सप्रेस इट सेल इन द इंडिविजुअल बिकॉज इट इज ए डॉमिनंट कैपिटल टी इज इज ए डॉमिनंट वाइल जीन फॉर डॉर्पनेस रिमेन सप्रेस्ड बिकॉज इट इज अ रेसेसिव रेसेसिव परसेंटेज जीनो टाइप it is genetic makeup or genetic constitution of an organism then dominant the gene which expresses itself in f1 gene which exp expresses itself in f1 generation is known as dominant gene and character is said to be dominant character then fifth genotype it is the genetic make up or genetic constitution of an organism genotype means genetic constitution means genotype means external appearance suppose tall plant their character appear dwarf plant round shape uh, uh, pods wrinkle shape part it is a phenotype but in genotype tall that is capital 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 t capital t for tall small t small t for dwarf this is a genotype phenotype external appearance of an individual produced as a result of interaction between gene and environment is called phenotype then monohybrid cross a cross which is made to study inheritance of the single pair of contrasting character is called monohybrid cross a single pair pair suppose capital t capital t cross into some small t small t it is a one only one character are consider single pair of contrasting character otherwise dihybrid cross a cross which is made to study inheritance of peers of contrasting character is called dihybrid here consider two character suppose tall tall round crossed with dwarf dwarf wrinkled this is here two character consider uh, uh, for crossing that is a dihybrid cross then allele or allelomorphs they are mendelian factors or genes which occur at the homologous chromosomes <coughs> they are mendelian factors or genes which occur at the homologous chromosomes and 
कंट्रोल द एक्सप्रेशन ऑफ द सेम कैरेक्टर्स सेम कैरेक्टर्स दैट इज एलिल सपोज कैपिटल टी कैपिटल टी इज एलिल स्मॉल टी स्मॉल टी इज एलिल और राउंड आर आर इज एलिल देन एफ वन जनरेशन द फर्स्ट जनरेशन ऑफ हाइब्रिड्स derived from cross between two genetically different homo homozygous organism is called f1 generation or first filial generation first filial generation for example a tall plant cross with dwarf plant tall plant cross with dwarf plant plants and and from this tall and dwarf dwarf plants uh, uh, they uh, produce tall plant that is a f1 generation f2 generation the generation produced by resulting interbreeding between individual f1 we have see uh, from this f1 tall plant uh, tall plant crossed or hybrid with tall plant and from this uh, offspring obtained that is f2 generation our second filial generation then offsprings the individual obtained at each generation are called as offspring offspring from this f1 and f2 crossed how many offspring how many seeds how many Childs, how many plants obtained? That is called offspring. Progeny, total number of offsprings produced from parents is called progeny. Total number of offspring produced from parents is called progeny. Then P one, it is a parental generation of cross. which leads to f1 generation that is a p1 then p2 generation it is a parental generation of cross which leads to f2 generation then in breeding it is nothing but selping that is self pollination and self fertilization the, the cross pollination between two genetically similar plants cross pollination between two genetically similar plants is called interbreeding is called interbreeding we have see uh, mendel biography mendel's works mendel success mendel uh, uh, why choose p plants selection of characters incomplete dominance and uh, complete dominance and incomplete dominance and some terminology terminology related on uh, genetics then uh, on the basis of this mendel's works and terminology uh, uh, i can asking some questions for you and you have given 30 to 40 seconds for giving answers and uh, question number first which of the following characteristics of pea plants was not used by mendels in his experiments from these four char characters character was not used in mendel experiments from this four seed color seed shape pod length flower position one one characters are not taken in his experiments which is this Each character uh, are 
are was not used in mendel's experiments anybody tell yes yes seed shape no no seed shape is wrong answer their answer is uh, c pod length pod length was non not consider in uh, mendel's experiments and question number second mendel took that as contrasting characteristic characteristic of pea plants mendel took that as contrasting characteristic of pea plants how many characteristic of pea plant pea plants we have seen first in uh, table how many character consider 8 b7 c4 and d9 how many characters how many characters took characteristic of pea plants their answer is 7 b7 we have seen in table characteristic seven contrasting characteristics took in his experiments then question number third in both the tendency of offspring to differ from parents is called in both the tendency of offspring to differ from parents is called number 1 a variation b heredity c inheritance and d resemblance anybody tell anybody anybody which is correct variation heredity inheritance resemblance in both the tendency of offspring to differ from parents is called no variation the answer is variation then fourth question who is regarded as a father of genetics who is regarded as a father of genetics a morgan b pune c mendel and d richard richard mendel yes mendel is a correct answer mendel mendel is a father of genetics then fifth questions genotype is dadash genotype is dadash genetic constitution trait expressed see genetic constitution of phenotype and d expressed genes genotype is dadash genotype is dadas genetic constitution trait expressed genetic constitution of genotype expressed gene the answer is genetic constitution of phenotypes genetic constitution of phenotypes then question number 
मेंडल वाज डैश मेंडल वाज डैश ये ऑस्ट्रियन बायोलॉजी टीचर बी ऑस्ट्रियन मॉन्क सी ऑस्ट्रियन ऑस्ट्रियन साइंटिस्ट एंड डी ऑस्ट्रियन मैथमेटिक्स मेंडल वाज डैश मेंडलवाज डैडेस ऑस्ट्रियन बायोलॉजी टीचर ऑस्ट्रियन मॉन्ग ऑस्ट्रियन साइंटिस्ट ऑस्ट्रियन मैथमेटिक्स द आंसर इज ऑस्ट्रियन मॉन्ग मेंडल वाज अ ऑस्ट्रियन मॉन्क इन ब्रून सेवंथ क्वेश्चन इफ डिफरेंट एलिल्स आर प्रेजेंट इन द सेम जीनोटाइप देन इट इज सेड टू बी इफ डिफरेंट एलिल्स आर प्रेजेंट इन सेम जीनोटाइप देन इट इज कॉल्ड होमोलॉगस बी हेटेरोलॉगस सी डायली D polyallelic, homologous, heterologous, diallelic, and polyallelic. Different alleles are present in the same genotype, same genotype, but different alleles present. Then it is called homologous, heterozygous, diallelic. Uh, and poly polyallelic is from these four option one is correct anybody tell correct option Their answer is heterozygous. And question number eight: If the genotype consists of only one type of alleles, it is called. If the genotype consists of only one type of allele, it is called homozygous, heterozygous, tetraallelic, and uniallelic. genotype consists of only one type of alleles homozygous heterozygous tetraallelic uniallelic anybody remember we have see in terminology the answer is homozygous homozygous because genotype consists of only one type of alleles only one type of alleles and here different alleles are present in same genotype that is heterozygous and uh, only one type of allele is homozygous then their answer is homozygous and question number 9 mendel ex presented his works in mendel presented his works in natural history society in russia b natural history society in america c option natural history society in broom and d natural history society in germany 
क्या गिवन फोर ऑप्शन फ्रॉम दिस फोर ऑप्शन ओनली वन आर करेक्ट We have seen uh, biography, biography of Mendel's. Mendel's, Mendel's work, Natural History Society in Broome. Their answer, correct answer is Natural History Society in Broome. And last question, question, the number of types of gametes produced by homozygous individual the number of types of gametes produced by homozygous individual a option option number a 1 b 2 c 3 and d many number of types of gametes produced by homozygous individual 1 2 3 or many you have giving four option from this four one is correct number of types of gametes produced by homozygous individual a1 b2 c3 and d many their correct answer is one ये वन थैंक्स ऑल ऑफ यू यू एनी प्रॉब्लम एनी डाउट कैन मी आस्किंग नाउ और एनी टाइम्स एनी टाइम्स यू कैन आस्किंग क्वेश्चंस थैंक्स अगेन